Oh, Maru and Harvey. <sighs> I'm so sick of preparing these samples. Oh, <gasps> Maru, no, you dropped it. Ah, no, the whole sample is ruined. Harvey's going to kill me. Well, I don't know, he seems pretty nice. Otter, what should I do? Just scoop it off the floor, he won't know the difference. Tell Harvey it was an accident. I don't think it was my fault. I think we should just tell Harvey it was an accident. He'd understand, he's super nice. He wouldn't fire you, would he? <gasps> what if he fired Maru? Oh no. Why is this so stressful? Yikes. I think he'll get that it's an accident. You're right, I should just tell him the truth. You're right, truth will out. <gasps> Here he comes, our friend Harvey. What happened? I heard something break. Yeah, you were a little slow coming. I accidentally dropped one of the samples, I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Don't worry about the sample, we'll just get another one. Oh, see, I told you. Harvey would be sensible. Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. Of course, you've been a big help around here. I don't know what I'd do without you. Aww, everything worked out well. Oh, hi, Harv. Otter, you look a little pale. Are you feeling okay? Maybe not, maybe I'm not feeling okay. What's up with that? Man, this year's going by so fast. I can hardly believe it. Wow, this is absolutely magical. Okay, what's in the mail? Oh, it's from Marnie. You're such a good neighbor, I thought I'd send you over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up. Marnie, I have no animals, but thank you. Okay, man, autumn is my favorite time of year. There you go, babe. And this is just magical. I love this so much. Okay, first thing actually, what I really ought to do is make sure that I plant my fall crops because I really need to do that ASAP. Get them in the ground so I can harvest as many as I possibly can to save this diminishing economy. <laughs> What's this? Wild plum? Oh my goodness. Fall is the best time of year. Can you believe wild plums just growing willy-nilly? I can't. Hmm. <sighs> I wish I knew how to make a plum pie. What the heck is happening? What are you two doing? Oh, hey, Robin. Hi, Louis. Oh, hello there, Otter. You showed up at the perfect time. Okay, what do you mean by that, Mayor Lewis? It's our new special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. You know, Robin's a pretty good carpenter, so I believe that. Uh, Lewis, all you did was hold the nails. Ha, I also believe that, Robin. Ha, called out. Ahem, ignore her. I will not, you fiend. Now, let me explain. You see, with Shadow Ranch Farm back in business, the local economy has really been picking up. You're welcome. My pleasure. As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their businesses or personal projects. So, Robin and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board where people can post bigger jobs than would make sense for the old billboard outside Pierre's. Is it just for me? Why don't you put it out my house? Yeah, for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. I won't put you on the spot, but if you want to help me out, you can just accept the job from the board. Who knows, maybe if the bed turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. <laughs> well, let's see, I can tell them what I really think, or I can be kind and recognize my role in recovering the local economy. I look forward to helping. It's absolutely my pleasure. I thought so. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Otter. No one else? Oh, yeah, no one else is doing anything. So, can we say that you are <gasps> on board? Oh, Robin, you're officially my favorite person in the valley. Good job, Robin. I love you. Well, I'm sure you're busy, so we won't keep you away from your work any longer. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Take care, Otter. Okay, bye, Lewis. You don't appreciate a good pun. I don't appreciate you. Oh, I guess I should go look at the sign. That's probably what I meant to do, huh? Uh, of course, that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to wander around, do whatever I feel like. Oh, it's Shane. I super don't care about Shane. No offense, Shane, but also just a teeny tiny bit of offense. Oh, little kid. Hi, Vincent. What's up? <sighs> Mom won't let me have any more gummies today. You're too young for gummies, don't you think? 
<gasps> whoa, 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 27 days. That's not too bad. Okay, apparently eggplants are considered the latest superfood in Zuzu City. Anyone who ships 100 eggplants by the end of the season will earn a substantial award. Here's Prime Produce. Hello there. From an upcoming promotion, I'm thinking of offering some high quality vegetables at a slight premium. I know where a thrifty shopkeeper might find 25 gold star vegetables. Dang it, I just sold some. I don't know that I can sell 100 eggplants. Oh, I can only choose one? Well, I'm glad I chose the one that benefits Pierre. Pierre's my friend. I think. Well, I guess this little update is warranted. I am working my tail off trying to get some vegetables ready for the confounded festival that's coming up. When? When? Oh my gosh. Four days from now. <sighs> It's a catastrophe. But basically, this is why it's a problem. They give me one week to set up a stand for my farm that's going to best represent what I have to offer. And when I tell you that I don't have much to offer, I would like you to believe me, please. Oh, man. As if that wasn't stressful enough, I also have to contend with the fact that I agreed to help Pierre boost his economy or whatever. It's embarrassing even to have to say it. I thought that I would be able to grow 25 gold star veggies. And I am really quickly realizing that that was utter folly. That will be my downfall because I only have a few days left and I've only got an 11 out of 25. I am not quite in the throes of despair, but I'm getting close. I'm getting a little close. So I'm just farming like a maniac these days and it's exhausting. I'm burning out. There's too much to do. Um, I guess one thing that I'll do, because I can't save any gold vegetables for my own display, I'm forced to save silver starred as well as just regular. Like, am I going to display these ordinary hops? I guess. This is a catastrophe. So, as you can see, this has been a pretty devastating day for a myriad of reasons. What the heck was that? What I, I, you know, I'm not really keen on all of these funky sounds that I hear in the forest when I live out here all by myself. I'm admittedly not into that. Okay, well, now that you know the predicament that I'm in, I think you'll undoubtedly sympathize with me. The hardship that I'm going through, for I am going through incredible hardship. Pity me, pity me, and I'll see you in a little bit when I give you an update about the inevitable fair. would like to make a motion to call this day the day of otter's humiliation. It's not going to go well. I just know it. And you can't tell me otherwise. Let's just hope that we have some fairly decent bok choy today. Oh boy, I, I must say that I don't have any particular fondness for festivals after the last flower festival just absolutely humiliated me. And this seems to be setting me up for something very similar where I don't think that I'm going to be able to get away with minding my own business. They're going to be judging me for sure. So that's something that I can look forward to when all I want to do is just tend my crops. Just want to do my grandpapa proud. My dead grandpapa and my new grandpapa. I bet Willie would be uh, rooting for me. <gasps> Are my cranberries ready? Wahoo. They are average, but you know what? That's okay. Whoops. All my bok choy is ready. Five gold. This is good news. Oh, and I have some stuff over there too. What time does this festival start? I might be running out of a little tight on time. Man, I at some point am going to have to figure out how to make a sprinkler system because let me tell you, this takes up so much time and I'd rather not spend my entire day and energy bar doing this. Also, wait a minute, while we're talking about humiliation, let's not forget the communal soup, which was evidently my fault. Oh, no, that wasn't, that wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. Your honor, I object. <gasps> the fair's begun. Shoot. I'm gonna have to come back and do this later. I'm gonna be late. Oh, shoot, I am late. Dang it, this day is starting off just about as badly as it could. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Okay, great. Um, so basically what I have to do is skedaddle. I have to skedaddle. 
What do I need? I need all of my goodies. My yam. Take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I guess I'll take my hops just in case. Okay, breathe. We're doing okay. I'm just gonna go really quickly. Shoot. I need to cut these freaking trees down. They're in my way and they're gonna make me so late to the festival. I'm so late. Okay, but I do want to see if this is of any decent quality. It is not. Why must they actively work to humiliate me? Okay, also I cannot forget to water my crops when I get back. Cannot forget that. Okay, here we go. I'm so looking forward to this. I'm two hours late, which doesn't stress me out at all. Also, I'm still wearing my silly cap. Dang it. What the heck? Hi, trade in your star tokens for prizes. I don't have any. I better talk to the man behind. <laughs> Who the heck are you? Hey, Lewis. Well, Otter, it's the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. Well, I'm so glad that I knew that it was the most important. That makes me feel even better. If you'd like to participate by setting up a Grange display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you set everything up so we can get to the judging. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do that last because I have a feeling that will end everything. Hey, Caroline. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. Excuse me, Pierre? I'm the one helping you build up your freaking premium vegetable display for the economy and you've been saving yours for this? I hate you. What do you have to say for yourself, Pierre? My store carries the very finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my grange display closely and see for yourself. Okay, my French accent just gets better and better. Hi, Marnie. Marnie, tell me what's up. I tried my best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. Well, yeah, because Pierre cheated. He cheated. Who are you? It's a tourist. Wow, that's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very impressive. It is pretty. It's bigger than Marnie herself. Hey, Grandpa Willie. Are you setting up a Grange display, Otter? It's your chance to show off the good produce from Shadow Ranch. I mean, I'm gonna try. Ugh, Shane. Oh, hey, you kiddos. Hey, Sebastian. It's kind of hectic today. I'm just gonna hang out here for a while. Hey, Sam. Hey, Otter, having a good time? Not really. This is very stressful. Hey, Clint, what's up? I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. Can I purchase them? Hello, Marlin. Clint's blades get sharper every year. Hmm. Hi, Leah. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. Yeah, I just figured out she's an artist. Who knew? Hi, Robin. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm proud to be a part of. <clears throat> Demetrius. Robin really works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. Yep, I suppose she does. Hey, Emily. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. You know what, Emily? It's never too late. It's never too late to try. Hey, Jody. He doesn't look very happy. I guess Mary Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. I think he's doing his best, Jody. Let's not criticize. Uh, where else are people hanging out? Oh. In the graveyard. Oh, ah, uh, yes. My crystal ball is swirling with visions of your future, young one. Oh, yeah. In my future, how it's about. Ah, uh, indeed. I see you in a room, having a conversation with a man. <gasps> it's Demetrius. You seem to be close friends. Now I see you and Harvey in a field of grass. You seem happy. The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Ah, the crystal ball has grown dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. Jeez. What a mix of emotions. Hello, Wizard. Welbeck and I have known each other for a long time. She is a remarkable diviner and a good friend. <laughs> I guess I don't doubt that. Who else have we got in this festival? Harvey, checking out them pigs with the kids who are blocking my way. Hello, Vincent. Moo. Mm hmm. Hi, Jaws. Ow, a hen pecked my little finger. Well, why are you touching them? Hey, Harvey, what's up? And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. Harvey, are you also a vegetarian? I can dig that. I've got some soul searching to do. Yeah, just give up the give up the meat, I suppose. These poor piggies. Hello, Linus. These animals never judge people by their looks. The same can't be said for humans. Linus, I thought we were friends. You always ostracize me, Linus. Well, wait, maybe that's too strong. You always push me away, Linus. And I don't understand why. <gasps> What's this? There's still so much I've yet 
Pam, what's up? Better hurry up, kid, before old Pam here finishes every last lunker out of the tent. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, what is this? Play your hand at some fishing? Heck no. Maybe later. I feel like there's some people missing. Oh, Abigail. I already beat all the games. Now what? I don't know, Abigail. Play the slingshot game? I didn't realize it was gonna be so expensive. I have zero money. How do you play? Oh. Uh... I, that wasn't very good. I didn't really know how to play. 20 out of 25 successful shots. Oh. Whoa. 44? It's gotta be pretty good. Hey, tourist lady. It was a long bus ride here, but totally worth it. This valley is so beautiful. Simon loves it, don't you, Simon? Goo goo gaga, -ga, says Simon. For he is a baby. Hi, Alex. I played the strength game too many times now. My arms feel like rubber. Must not be very strong, Alex. He ha ha ha. Hi, Haley. Have you been to the fortune teller? She said I've stand in the graveyard. I actually did. Well, I guess if it's a fair, we better try our hand at fishing, even though I hate fishing. It is my least favorite activity, but what can you do? Okay, let's do this. It's, nope, sorry. I'm so glad I have a fishing song. That's exactly what I was hoping I'd do. Okay, fishes. I'm here. Hey, that's that feels like I've been cheated. Uh, I don't think we'll have time for this. Hurry, fishes, hurry. Fish, 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 fish. Ow. Allergy? I've been set up. Okay, well, 71 can't be too bad. Oh, I got a perfection bonus? Jeez, I'm really doing okay here. You know what? Other than the inevitable doom of judging my produce, I think I'll be okay. Who are you, tourist? It's a fine looking town you've got here. Nice and cozy and a real sense of community. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Who are you? Selling star tokens? No, I can earn them. Hello, impatient man. Step right up. Pick a color and place your bet for a chance to double your wager. I like the color orange. Um, just one. I am not a gambler. See? That's why I didn't want to do it. it. Takes no skill for this thing. <sighs> it's the strength. Please stand at the red arrow. Tree trunk. Ha! Gorilla! <laughs> Are you strong like me? Smash stone! Well, let's see what prizes we can get. Oh, jeez! A rare crow. <gasps> Are you kidding? Hitting me, turnip head? I'm gonna be here my whole life until I can get turnip head. Are you kidding me? Okay, two fishing. Let's fish again. This is the only opportunity I think I have for getting turnip head. I must have turnip head. I shall despair. I shall die without turnip head. Shoot. I wish that the fates were working in my favor to get my favorite scarecrow. Focus on the fishes for perfection. <laughs> Good. Bam. Hurry, fishes. I've got fish to fry. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to fry you. I promise. You can trust me. Am I not going to catch any more fish after I said that? Come on, fish. Be kind to a poor soul. A poor farmer who just wants to tend our crops. Wow, I'm not doing very well with my casting. I bet those are harves. He's the only one who wears... No, he's... other people must wear glasses, right? Who else wears glasses in this town? I don't think anybody else wears glasses in this town. Harv, are you littering? Hurry, fish. We only have a few seconds left. Fish, I love you. I could kiss you. I... I'm... I could. I just said I could. I physically could. Yay! 100 points isn't bad. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. Yes! Yes! I'm going to go get my prize. I'm so happy. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go set up my things. You know what? I can't believe that I gave so much stuff to freaking what's-his-face. There. Now I have plenty of room. It doesn't look great. It's all bok choy, but you know what? 
that's what I'm going to do. Yes! Maybe I should get some dried sunflowers. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, that was fun. That was so much fun. This was a great fair. You know what? I think I'm going to go commence the judging. All right, Lewis, let's check out my display. Oh, are you already finished setting up your Grange display? Hmm, yes, I'm, I'm finished. Let the judging commence. Come take a look at it. It's not very impressive because of all this bok choy, but it's really good quality bok choy. Pierre just tricked me. Pierre absolutely tricked me. He and I are no longer friends. Check it out. I've got one, two, three, four different things. Oh, I didn't realize I was going against Willy. My grandpapa. My grandpapa. Okay, your Grange display has been judged. Return to the Mayor Lewis for the result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I nervous? I didn't win. Hi there, Otter. It looks like you went third place. Third place? With a rating of 71. Your prize is 200 star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. I don't have room. I don't have room. Ow. This hurts my feelings. <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay, let's just be calm. We can be calm. We can be very calm. I can't believe I got third place. Calmness over. Maybe I could go back to my place. I'll try that. I'm gonna get rid of some stuff that I wouldn't cry about if I didn't have it. And I'm going to try to go put stuff back in my little shop. Dang it. Well, that's fine. I got the important things. I got third place. Freaking Pierre. Who beat me? Who beat me? Well, I guess I'm not last. That should be something. Oh my gosh, there's people up here. Tourist. Man, I can't take another bite of this barbecue sandwich. So stuffed. Hi, Elliot, what's up? I'm trying to get Gus to tell me his sauce recipe, but he won't budge. Eat as much as you like. It's all free today. Compliments, Mary Lewis. <gasps> Yum. I didn't realize I could do that. Thanks, sir. Hi, Evelyn. I wish Gus would include a vegetarian option. Some zucchini skewers, maybe? Oh, geez, I forgot. I ate a whole burger. Mmm, smoked turkey hunch. I guess this festival isn't all bad. I suppose you're right, George, but your wife can't eat anything. Maru, you're all by yourself. Mmm, this barbecue sauce is amazing. I wish George would tell us the recipe. Oh, well, okay, I'm glad that I found the others. I guess we're done. I will say that even though I got third prize and I have to leave behind my beloved pumpkin and maple her up, this was a very successful fair. And I actually had a good time. I got a freaking wonderful turnip head. So overall, this was a pretty good fair. Even though it didn't go as well as I could have hoped, it's going okay enough. Wonderful. Good job, Marnie. Well, I didn't win, but it's still satisfying to share all my hard work. Yes, it was, huh, Marnie? Hi, Willie. Wow, I got a low score. I guess Mayor Lewis is much of a fish man. Oh, well. Well, Pierre, you son of a gun, you tricked me. It feels great to be on top. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I don't like you very much, Pierre. Where did all those wonderful things come from, Pierre? Except from me. You fiend. Hey. So let's put our new turnip head friend here. Oh my gosh, that's the best thing that could have ever happened. Well, I think I'm going to have to go do some work on my own. I've just got a lot to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more behind the scenes work and I'll check back in with you the next time an event unfolds. But I'll talk to you then. See you later, babies. Maru, Maru, would you like some flowers for you? Ta-da! This is a super gift, thank you. You're welcome, Maru. Hope it makes you feel a bit better. What do you think Harvey would like? I actually don't know that much about him. How about a plum? Wait, what is this? Grapes? Blackberry? Heck no, I want the blackberry. Blackberries are delicious. I'll give him the blackberry since I like them so much. That's such a nice gift, thank you. Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. You're young though, you'll probably stay healthy without trying. I don't know about that. Sorry, Maru, I should say hi. Otter, I just love how the trees look right now. Me too. I know you like them too. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs>